Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this table of contents gallery sheet and add it to any of your workbooks. So this sheet here contains a table of contents and it also contains a gallery of images. All of these here are thumbnail images of the sheets in the workbook and you can click on these and jump directly to the sheet. So if I click this uh, link here that'll jump me to the top five customer sheet in this workbook and you can see that this is exactly what it looks like. So if I jump back to the gallery here, the table of contents sheet, I basically have a little thumbnail preview image of each of the sheets in the workbook. And you can scroll down here and see all of these sheets. So this is a great way to display your work, to kind of show off your work, and show the user or your reader what's can, what is in this file, what the file contains, all these nice looking dashboards and charts and all these reports that they might want to look at. It's a very easy way to navigate through the workbook. So there's a few different ways to implement this, to actually create one of these sheets in your workbook. First of all, I have a macro that will uh, create this sheet for you, and this macro is available for free download at excelcampus.com. I'll put the link below the video, so you can go to that page and download the file that contains the macro. I'll jump into the VB editor here so you can see it. So there's a macro here and you can change some of the properties like the size of the images, the zoom, how many columns you want, and a few different parameters here that you can change and then run this macro on any sheet or in any workbook that you have. You can run it on any, mac any workbook that you have. Now, another way to run this is to use the tab hound add-in. I've added this as a feature to the tab hound add-in. Once you install tab hound, you'll see the Excel campus tab here in the ribbon and over here there's this TOC gallery button and clicking that button will open this window right here and you can see there's different options uh, for creating this table of contents gallery sheet. So you can choose the number of columns. Let's say maybe we only want two columns of images. You can choose the size, small, medium, large, the zoom level, so the amount of text or the size of the text and all the images that you see there. And then you can also uh, display the tab color below uh, the label there or within the label below the image, only visible tabs. And then you can also have uh, a link back or a backlink to the table of contents sheet created. So, and then once you set up all those parameters, you just click the create table of contents button. That'll run very quickly and create this sheet in any of your workbooks. So you can open any workbook that you have, just click that button there, click the TOC gallery button, and then that will create this new sheet at the front of your workbook with images to all the sheets in the workbook. And so you scroll down here, we can see these sheets have tab colors. So this has a orange tab color here, and that's also displayed here in the label below the image. And again, you can click on these and jump right to that sheet. And you can also add this TOC gallery backlink to all the sheets in the workbook as well. So then when we click this, that'll jump us right back to the table of contents sheet. So again, it's a really great way to allow your users to see what's included in this workbook and also navigate through it very easily to find the information or the report that they're looking for. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a link in the description below the video that goes to the download page for the macro, and that page also contains more information about TabHound. If you have any questions at all about this, please leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to help answer them. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.